right now, I want to now tell you people that uh, we have a program right now that coming off on the, from the 27th March. It will be explosive. It will be great. And uh, I want to tell you people that uh, it will be powerful. It will be great. It will be powerful. And uh, God is going to do something great upon our lives. Uh, whatever you have, it's time for you to receive more. And uh, I want you to come and join us. Myself and uh, Lucy Natasa, we are going to right now be here in Mercy City, live and direct. It will be explosive. So I want you to just come and uh, be with us. And uh, this is called Three in One God. Three in One God. So, Three in One God, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Like I told you, you can see the testimonies of uh, uh, group uh, number one, number two group, number three group. Are you in number one? Are you number two? Are you number three? Come on back! Number are you? Number one? Number one! Number are you? Number, number two, two, sir. Number are you? Number two, sir. Oh! And you, which number are you? Number three, sir. Number three, three. three. Two of you will pray for this one. Any evil thing that is stopping you, that manipulating your life, as I speak through the name Jesus, let them disappear. Every power in your family, unfriendly friends that monitoring you, bomba to bomba. For you not to succeed in life, living inside your body, sleeping with you, working with you again, their end has come. Every challenge, every attack you have been passing through, through the God of Jeremiah, come out by fire, 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 come out, come out, fire. Fire! You are seeing snake in the dream. Every evil bed monitor you. Fire! Oh, viewers, something's happening. That program is all about miracles, miracles, miracle working God. So I want you people to come and join uh, us, and God is going to do something great, all right, over your life. And your life will never ever remain the same. So, whatever you have, uh, Reverend Natasha, she's coming right all the way from Kenya. So, I want you to come and receive the undiluted blessings. It will be explosive. Uh, whatever you have, it's going to happen live in Mercy City, uh, live and direct. It will be explosive and it will be powerful because uh, miracles that have uh, been delayed, your miracles that the enemies have delayed last year. 2018 for them to manifest this year and uh, the month called March. It will not pass by. And I want you people go and get uh, the water of Pula beside her too. She's a daughter. Natasha is a daughter. And uh, she's a great woman of God and a powerful woman of God. Uh, Lucy Natasha, God has been using her mightily. So I want you people to just come and uh, receive the wonderful grace and a wonderful testimonies so come over right here and uh, the lord god of jeremiah is going to bless you miracles some people that are watching me their miracles have been delayed for more than 10 years that's why they are still in that spot but i want to tell you that uh once the, the calling of Robert jeremiah the free once your grace has been your life anything that been intimidated by devil Immediately you come over, then uh, I will speak unto your life, and your life will never ever remain the same. So my daughter, Reverend Lucy Natasa, coming all the way from Kaya to come and join me uh, to pray for you people and to bless you people, and your life will never ever remain the same. Don't wait at all; it will be explosive, powerful. So, and also get ready. This ones I want the partners to receive this undiluted blessings that are about to take place. You are a partner, come and come and receive your wonderful blessings. So, God bless you wherever you are watching me. 
as they come. Don't worry. And also, look at those tags. We have number one, number two, number three. When you look at the testimonies, you can see first group testimony, uh, miracle a lot in another dimension. This young man standing before us here is from Abuja. His name is Emmanuel. He's a minister. He has been looking for a place to use for the glory of God. And the place he got, they gave him a huge amount which he cannot afford. And he begged the owner of the place. The person said, no, he don't want to sell the place for him. He's looking for a big people to sell the land for. But he cried. He followed my boss from all the from Abuja down here. When he's he from Abuja. Yes, when he was declaring, he heard the phone. And he was praying that, oh God, touch this the owner of the land. Let him release the land. And after you stop the declaration, the owner of the land called him. I don't even need your money. Come and use the life for the glory of God. Oh. Come and use the life to build the heart for God. Hey. 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 Holy boy, holy boy. Land call him. Yes, sir. He, said, he want to use the place for what before? He is a minister, sir. He want to use the place to build the church. Oh, young man, the man just called you. He said the land. If I did not bring the money like that, I should forget about the land. I told that man I did not have any money. Is somebody that want to pay the money for me? I don't believe in cancelling. I believe in miracles. Daddy! According to him, they have been waiting for a land that was two billion naira, and they have been asking God, how can this thing possible? But after your declaration, the people that want to purchase the land, they just came and they signed the MOU, and now they are on their way to the battle of petty two billion naira. And they just call him here now. They call him now. No, sir. Huh? Thank, yeah. thank God for me coming here today. You are from where? I'm from where? Well, I lived in America now. I've been looking for this money for a long time, since October. And then it happened that I came here for my wife, who is not well. Who I believe that if you pray for him, she will be all right. And getting here... As we were just praying, you told us to check our phones. My phone rang. I've Your been phone waiting. rang? It rang. It's been on. Look at it here. And it's a business. I do real estate. They said that the MOU has been, has started being processed, that they're going to pay us the two billion, which our office were going to get 400 million out of the deal. I thank God. Hey. I thank the Lord. Hey. But why this time? Why, why this time? time? Why now? Surely there is God in this place. I want Papa. Number one. Yes, Papa. <laughs> I have to support number one. Yeah, when they look at number one, number one is dying. <laughs> I have to support them spiritually. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> this burial it will not oh papa this man he is the first son of his father yes. his father died leaving behind billions of naira in different accounts in nigeria uh -huh. one in sky bank one in uba one in first bank uh -huh. and immediately after your declaration papa just now just now papa he received an email from central bank nigeria uh -huh. telling him that the money that he has been pursuing for the past two years that he will receive the alert right now and right now he has received the alert from the different banks Papa, money worth billions and millions of dollars. <laughs> 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 How many banks that you received a lot from just now? Four banks: Central Bank, UBA, Shark Bank, and First Bank. As soon as you decreed at the end, you said. People will receive a lot, different uh, kind of a lot. Different one, no. according to them, two of them receive a lot the same time. The same time, one twenty thousand, one thirteen thousand, one thirty thousand, one twenty thousand. Instantly, were you people expecting the money before? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Hey, Jarawa, were you expecting the money before? No, sir. <laughs>
people standing beside me, Papa, they are from Wari here, and the other man is from Okara. Hippa, the number two lady, she has been believing God for a job for the past 12 years, Papa. 12 good years. 12 good years, 12 good years, Papa. Good years. Yes, Papa. Number and, two. Yes, Papa. And she said she has been calling this company almost every day hey. until the time she gave up. She said she would not call them anymore. Hey. And suddenly, after the prayer, she checked her phone when you told us to check our phone, hey. and she saw a missed call. As she was checking the missed call, the call came in again. Hey. The company called her and told her to resume job immediately, Papa. Hey. Papa, Let when she was receiving the call, this man also was also receiving his call. A company was calling him to resume his job tomorrow morning, Papa. Ah! Why this time? program is all the miracles all the miracles are you looking for a miracle of job are you looking for a miracle of house are you looking for a miracle of uh, promotion are you looking for a miracle of job are you looking for a miracle of healing are you looking for a miracle of a uh, marriage are you looking for a miracle of babies are you looking for miracles of uh, your broad trip or your documents are you looking for a miracle of the winning court case are you looking for a miracle of, uh, of lands of are you looking for a miracle of a favor from man and god come over it's time for you to receive your blessings. Uh, let me tell you, this year shall never ever remain like last year because this year God has set aside for you to receive and count your blessings. So, I am Prophet Joe Mamarafoy. I have to now inform you people that it will be exclusive. Come and receive the blessings of uh, the Prophet and also my daughter, Reverend Lucy Natas. Your life will never ever remain the same. We are waiting for you right in Mercy City. Uh, the partners, get ready. This program is really for you. I want to force you people to receive the miracles. Because when a man has been crying for a long time, prophets force people to receive their miracles. So it will be explosive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your life will never ever remain the same. The power of God is good to now speak for you. Come and receive these blessings that God has released unto his children of Mercy City and the partners. God bless you. Thank you. Shalom. which brings impartation i repeat again association brings assimilation which brings impartation let me make it let me bring it down listen to me you cannot be different from those whom you closely associate with if you know and you understand you are born for a time such as this i came to tell you you cannot afford to associate with everybody don't walk with people that are not going your direction. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't walk with people that are not going your direction.
You can imagine these people were supposed to face fire. But because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had the same spirit, I believe they encouraged each other. I have come to tell the youth it is your time to reflect on your association. Amos 3, 3 says two cannot work together unless they are agreed the next time you are choosing your friends I want you to know you are choosing your destiny look at your neighbor say neighbor ah the people in your life ah come on to a surah kazi yambiyam to a surah kazi tell your neighbor the people in your life they either make you or break you the people in your life they either exhaust you or exalt you. The people in your life, they, are, they either drain you or develop you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the people in your life, they are either a help or a hindrance. Are you listening to me? And that is why the Bible is clear. He has commanded you to love your neighbor, but he has not commanded you to make everybody your friend. Love is a must, but relationship is by choice. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I love you, but that doesn't mean I have to make you my friend. Hey, tell your neighbor, neighbor, love is a must, but relationship is a choice. Are you listening to me? Don't walk with people that are not going your direction. I want you to begin choosing your association. And some of you are, are stagnating in life. Nothing is working. Nothing is moving in your life. Because you are trapped in wrong relationship. But in this conference, I want you to make a choice. Anybody that is not making you better, that is making you bitter, let them go. Give your neighbor a high five and tell them, let them go. Anybody that is exhausting you instead of exalting you. Anybody that is a burden and not a blessing, let them go. Ask your neighbor, are you a burden or a blessing? Hey, hallelujah. Don't walk. Don't make everybody your friend. Don't walk with people that are not going your direction are you listening to me and some of you are trapped in the wrong relationship because you are saying reverend natasha you don't understand i have history with this person but listen to me just because you have history with somebody doesn't mean you have a future with somebody hey tell your neighbor neighbor just because we have history that doesn't mean we have a future and I came to announce to somebody, your destiny is greater than your, than your history. Your future is greater than your past in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, lift your hand and shout fire. So don't associate with everybody. And there are people you need to let go. I love what Pastor Dan was saying. Even on Facebook, it's not everybody that you have to accept their request. Hey, some people you must delete. You are the CEO of your life. You have the right to invite, delete, and terminate. Somebody shout fire. So anybody that is not adding value to your life. Because there are two kinds of people in your life. Wasters or investors. Ask your neighbor, are you a waster or an investor? Hallelujah. The people in your life, they either increase you, decrease you, or neutralize you that is why you need to be very serious about your association and as uh, uh, the man of God was sharing on wisdom one of the pointers was relationships hallelujah so check your relationship because when wrong people live your life wrong things will stop happening some of you your life is full of drama but it is because of the people you have in your life tell your neighbor let them go come on look at your neighbor say neighbor when wrong people live your life wrong things stop happening when toxic people live your life toxic things stop happening 
And listen to me, one thing you need to know about wrong association, they will kill your joy. Wrong associations will kill your passion. Wrong association will kill your dream. Wrong association will kill your faith. Wrong associations will kill your drive for success. I challenge somebody here, as you leave this conference tonight, I want you to reflect.